July 1922, Pikes Peak, Colorado. Since 1915, when a road was first carved into the mountain, drivers had raced to the top. 12 miles of dirt, dust, and flying gravel challenged the imagination of automotive designers. And they responded in the early years with bulk. Massive machines from Packard and Mercer lined up in 22 to meet the challenge. But when the dust settled, the winner was a venerable Model T Ford, driven by Neil Bullock. The car that Henry Ford designed to carry America into the age of the horseless carriage carried Bullock to the 1922 Pikes Peak Championship in the record time of 19 minutes, 50 seconds, 36 miles an hour. Today, Pikes Peak challenges drivers from around the world. High-tech machines have replaced the metal monsters of the 20s. Germany's Walter Roll holds the latest record with a 10-minute 47 record drag race up the mountain at speeds in excess of 100 miles per hour. I'm Ken Squire. Join me next week for another page from my Quaker State scrapbook. Well, last weekend, Ari Vatanen broke Walter Rohrl's record on the Colorado mountain, the beauty of which inspired the song America the Beautiful. In fact, there were 60 racers from around the world who found out just how beastly that beauty could be. A freak storm dropped snow and hail at the 14,000-foot summit of the peak, but that hardly slowed Finland's Vatnin. He felt right at home driving his Peugeot Turbo to an outright hill record. He beat teammate, old friend of Richard Petty's by the name of Yua Kankinen to the top by five seconds. Expected challenge by New Zealand's Rod Millen didn't happen. Rodney had trouble with his wild-looking Mazda. Off-road star Roger Mears came up short on his attempt to become the first double winner on the peak. This was the view from inside Roger's Nissan in the truck class. And here's a view from above as the engine blew within sight of the finish. Mears later crashed his stock car, a class won by local favorite Ralph Bruning, despite the flat right rear. The elusive double went to Mazda's Glenn Harris. He won the truck class, came back to win the Group A rally class. And Robbie Unzer continued an old family tradition, winning the open wheel division. He joins Grand Uncle Louie, Father Bobby, Uncles Al, Jerry, and Louie, and Cousin Al Jr. on a list that includes 28 Unzer family victories at Pikes Peak.